hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the fam i would be so happy to have you here so as you guys can see from the title you already know what we're going to be talking about today and playing with that is the new ColourPop x like star wars mandalorian collaboration and you guys i'm just gonna come out and say it i have never seen any star wars movie or this new show on disney plus I always scroll past it. I don't know, I'm just not really into like sci-fi type things, but I am very much into this palette. This is a green dream, you guys. First of all, the packaging, can we talk about that? Because it is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I did swatch this already, I just haven't played with it on my eyes. Uh, but you guys, look at how pretty. Yes, it has a mirror and the shades in here are stunning. Ugh. I am not really the biggest fan of greens, but for some reason in the fall time, I just really gravitate towards green shades. I don't know why. I just love like sultry colors in the fall. I really like the color story of this palette. It does retail for $16, and I know I'm a little bit late on this video, but I figured I should still post it because they are going to restock this palette on Black Friday, I believe. You might see if it's something you want to pick up then. If you want to see me put this palette to the test, then keep on watching. Oh. One thing about this palette, I'm just really happy that there's a mirror because I'm so used to these nine pan cardboard palettes not having a mirror. So my eyelids are already primed, you guys. I might try to use as many shades in this palette as possible. So I am going to start with this little bone, like neutral shade right here. I'm just going to like put this in my crease it is very light so I guess I will just use this to kind of set that base I don't normally set my eyeshadow base but since it's so light I will just do that with the shade because I do want to use as many shades as possible actually really blends into my skin nicely it is pretty light but it's not like oh my god it's white you know like it is a really nice shade that really complements that eyeshadow base that I put down I think I want to go in with this green olive shade right here called Float Your Crib. That's so cute. ColourPop's formula is pretty... It's pretty powdery, but it's a really good formula. I mean, if you've used ColourPop before, you know it's a powdery formula, but it works. I really like this olive green shade. It's just something... It's so pigmented. Oh my gosh. It's really pretty. That shade is getting like everywhere in this palette but it's okay. It's still really pigmented and I'm really happy about that. Oh my gosh, I get my hair done tomorrow. I'm so ready to get my hair done. It's always that little stretch where you're waiting to get your hair done and it's just like, come on, like the days are going by so slow and I just want my hair done. As I'm filming this, ColourPop just announced that they are collaborating with Raw Beauty Christie and I'm so excited for that collaboration, you guys. I definitely feel her, like, I love, I love Raw Beauty Christie. She's amazing. I'm so happy for her. 2020 has literally been the best year for her, and I'm so happy that some of us are getting a good 2020. I'm actually going to buy the whole collection because I feel like I will get use out of every single thing in that collection. It is just such a beautiful collection, and I'm really excited. I'll take some of the shade Little Frog, which is like the next step down from this olive green shade that I put in my crease. This matte kind of has like shimmer in it, but hopefully it doesn't show up too much with this look. So pretty. It's just like softening up the edges. That's just what I wanted. I have a video coming soon on the Stone Cold palette. I'm really excited to play with it. I just haven't like sat down and played with it. I really wanted to play with this one first. But it's coming, you guys. It's coming, I, I promise. If you guys are waiting for that video... Is coming. So now I'm going to take some of this brown shade called Droid Protocol and I'm going to place this in my outer corner to kind of deepen it up. There isn't a really dark green in here, but this brown will definitely work. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. Greens and browns are so beautiful together. And this is perfect. Like this is the such a beautiful shade. So sultry and beautiful. There's so many shimmers in here that I could play with. I just don't know what I want to use. I have a super shock right here, which is really pretty, called Precious Cargo. I'm sorry if I'm like saying these names and there's a 
a big meaning behind them i don't know so don't like don't come for me <laughs> oh my gosh this green shade is everything oh my god i'm really looking at this goldeny green shade right here oh that looks pretty oh my gosh what do i want to use i kind of want to use the green and then top a little bit with that gold let's just go in with the shade sipping soup all over the lid i'm not gonna oh my gosh this is so pretty and i'm gonna go back in with that green and just kind of like diffuse the edges a bit I am going to go back into that brown shade and just add a little bit more to the outer corners. Blending it into that green that I just put all on the lid. I feel like my eyes look like an avocado. I feel like this palette kind of reminds me of that BH Avocado palette. This is really pretty. I like this. I'm going to do the rest of my base makeup and then we're going to come back to finish the eyes. I am going to also include some palette comparisons in this video for you guys because I know you're probably like wanting to see how this compares to the other ColourPop palettes. I do want to also compare it to that BH Cosmetics Avocado palette just so you guys could see in case you have that one. So I just finished my base makeup. I forgot my gloss. Hold on. Okay, so I had to go and get my gloss. This is my new gloss called Where's My Ice Coffee from Tatiana Anissa Cosmetics. You guys can definitely shop this. Now it is live. It just went live today as I'm filming this video. So I did end up taking this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in my waterline. Wildcat. Love it. It's like this metallic green liner. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's go in back into the shade Float Your Crib. I think I want there to be an inner corner highlight precious cargo, which is the super shock. Oh, it's so beautiful. Whoa, I love that. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, this, I love this eye look. It's so beautiful. It's like so wearable, but like it has just like a nice bit of color to it. All right, so real quick, I just want to compare this palette. The first one I want to compare it to is the Meant to Be palette, which I have not used yet. Oh my gosh. I haven't used this one yet, you guys. I got this, like, not too long ago, and this is such a springy palette, so I just haven't used it. Definitely not the same. Of course, this is literally, like, a bunch of mints. Uh, so I just wanted to show this to you guys. Really different palettes. And then we have the Just My Luck, which is the one that I feel like a lot of people really want to see this compared to. I feel like this is such a great companion palette, you guys. So I think these work perfectly together. I'm excited to play with both of these in conjunction with each other. I'm really starting to love greens. I don't know what it is, but I really love how greens look on my skin tone. I feel like greens really complement deeper skin tones. So I have two more palettes. One is from Cara Beauty. I don't even know why I pulled this because <laughs> these... This is... I don't know. I just was like, ooh, let me grab this. The packaging is green, so it's a green palette, but... Uh, yeah, okay, no. Never mind. Really great palette. Love the formula. Love Car Beauty. Lastly, we have the one that is the absolute most similar, and that's from BH Cosmetics. This is the Avocado Toast Eyeshadow Palette. And I want to tell you guys, this is literally like... To be honest, if you have this palette, you do not need this one because they're very, very similar. For collector's purposes, I feel like, yeah, go ahead, pick up the ColourPop palette, you know, add it to your ColourPop collection. But if you're like one of those people that will not buy a palette if it looks like another one that you already have, then yeah, you can definitely skip this one. I really like this palette. It's a really pretty green palette. It's $16. It's great. I love these compact palettes. The packaging is so cute. This Baby Yoda is just like, it's really cute. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun playing with this palette and chatting with you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.